jugular vein. Internal from the facial artery and vein. Internal. And this is the left common carotid and the right common carotid. And this is number 12 here is the vertebral artery. This is the superior vena cava into the right subclavian artery and vein into the cephalic vein and artery. So what was that one again? I'm sorry. This is the cephalic okay. vein and artery and this actually comes all the way down through 31 which is down here. Okay. And then if you go back up, 21 is your axillary artery and vein, and the A goes to the B. So the axillary goes into the brachial okay. and the basilic. Um, let's see. And you go down um, from the brachial artery and it tracks down into the ulnar artery and if you come back up and follow it the other way it goes down into the brachial artery or the radial artery excuse me and then down into the superficial palmar arch both the venous and the arterial and then down into the, your common digital arteries and veins, the ones that go through your fingers. Mm -hmm. You go back to the other side. I think that's it for those. Mm -hmm. okay. um, if you come back up next to the superior vena cava, you have the aortic arch down into the descending aorta. And coming down, you have the inferior uh, vena cava and your abdominal aorta, mm -hmm. um, your kidneys, which have the renal arteries and veins going into them. And then from here, coming down, you have your common iliac artery, which shortly thereafter splits into the external iliac artery and vein and the interior art, uh, artery and iliac artery and vein. The one that comes straight down and branches a lot is the median sacral artery. From here, if you follow your common iliac down, you have your femoral artery and your deep femoral artery. Follow your femoral artery down. You come to, down by the knee, just above the knee. You have your popliteal artery. And then you have the posterior tibial. And then the anterior tibial artery. And the way you can know this is this muscle up here is called the anterior tibialis. So it feeds that. But your anterior comes down to the dorsalis pedis, and your posterior comes down into the medial plantar artery. You come back up here, and you're following your common iliac artery down. Again, you have your, inter your externals and your internal iliac arteries down to your femoral vein. So this would be your femoral artery. This is the femoral artery that goes down into the great saphenous vein and down into the dorsalis pedis vein, which goes to the dorsalis venous arch and back up to something that's not marked. <laughs> Then you have your, your 
dorsal metatarsal arteries in your dorsal digital veins of the foot and back up to the anterior tibial artery. And finally, one and two is the arcuate artery. Thank you.